Hello guys. <laughs> so Victoria told me to record her putting petrol in the car. But then she told me to get back in the car. So we're here. This is now my vlog. Oh, he likes my new shoes. I can't remember if this inverts your face and if it does I'm gonna just rather die because I hate it. But <laughs> outfit of the day is Michael Kors watch, uh, Victoria's jumper, my coat, uh, Lululemon leggings, some art, Jordans, um, Primark earrings props, and that's it. And then this is Victoria. Hello. I feel really uh -uh. awkward. I haven't filmed for ages. Hi. No, I can do the talking. Is it in front of your face? It doesn't Does it invite your face? Invert. Oh, I don't know. It's, to be much. it's really hot. Take your jacket off. No. No. I don't need that jacket. I forgot. Oh my god, minutes. you've got a new key ring thing. I know. That's so pretty. Because I kept dropping it and breaking it. Is this how we're going to a funeral? <laughs> <laughs> we are. Um, okay, we're going to Vista. I feel really awkward because I've not filmed in five years. Yeah, well, I just hope. And Chloe Ferry was there. I have no idea who that is. Oh. You never watched Jordy Shaw? No. Oh. Is that the girl that you saw in London? No. Oh. That's some, that was another person up there. <laughs> <coughs> What's that thing? It's Hermie. Hermie the Hermaphrodite. Hermie. Hermie. Oh, that's Hermia. from Little Liars. That's what that's from. No, Hermie. Hermie. Hermie the Hermaphrodite. The boy with the... Yeah, that takes Lucas. Photo. Yeah, him. Um, I want a pumpkin spice latte. So if we go to Starbucks, I'm getting it. We've got pumpkin spice syrup in the fridge. Not in the fridge, in the cupboard. What would be the same? It's pretty good. She can do outfits every day. It's not moving. Fendi sunglasses mm -hmm. that I searched high and low for. Um, Look, someone's, someone's called it. Top is vintage, skirt is Zara. This is River Island. This is what YSL. Is that? And I don't know. <laughs> I tried to burst out laughing. <laughs> I can't do this. <sighs> How do people actually do this? So now we walk it. Just reminds me of Christmas. You do it. <laughs> Lauren's gonna be a vlogger. I'm gonna be a vlogger. She can take the embarrassment. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, so I caught into a pan. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, should we just go to Lord Arrest? You say something funny, be my Tommy. Okay. <laughs> Can you be my Tommy to my Molly? <laughs> be my Tommy to my Molly. Should we make like slogan t-shirts? I, I did this with Millie the, the other one on holiday. We used to say like, you're my blur to my blur. Sour apple, what's that? What Halloween. the fuck is that? Oh, that looks <coughs> nice. What, what's this one doing? Do you know what I mean? So, do you want a yeah. hot or cold coffee? Hot. Hot. Yeah. Can I get two small pumpkin spice lattes, please? Yep, yeah, any and, cream on top. Yes, please, but could I get one of them with soya milk? Uh, 
problem. That's it, thank you. So these are my ignore the massive spot on my face. My new like earrings. I very much love. Oh not on. I think they're really nice. They are from Charlotte Tilbury. Do I want it? Yeah. My car is so yeah, that's cute. disgusting. That's nice on you. I know, because it matches you. Thanks. Oh, it actually is. Look at all this. I know. Is that a pill? <laughs> no, Victoria just down. pills. You heard it here first. Don't. People all like make things up. <laughs> Get up with the Thanks. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, you too. He said the people behind thought they were Burger King. <laughs> because the sign's there. Oh. Uh, so why, why is the sign there? Because Burger King's there. But like, look at the front of it. What, the person behind us now? Yeah, the person behind thought that that was... It said Starbucks on the front of it. So they, they, they went thought, to order Burger King? Yeah. I can't get a big cheeseburger. Can I get a cheeseburger for dinner? Well, like, I'm really clueless in life. I think I'm you really bad at it. I think you're going to be a horrendous driver. Don't jinx me. I think only one of us is going to be a good driver out of the three of us, and I've obviously got that title. When can you um, start driving lessons? The day of your 17th birthday, as long as you've got your provisional license. How long do you it will take me to pass my driver's test? I need a wee wee. I can't be asked for the car buckle. I need. I'm knackered. I'm gonna fall asleep. I need a dollar, dollar, dollar. I think a two euro would go in the trolley. You can try it. My eyes look really blue. I hate blue eyes. I love blue eyes. Do you? Oh, I that's think that's so, so nice. creepy. I said that I thought blue eyes were creepy and I got hate on TikTok for it. And they were like, how dare you say that? And I was like, I literally have blue eyes. Like, I'm allowed to say it. I love blue eyes. I think they're the nicest eyes ever. All green. I love green eyes. Do you remember my friend Ellie? Yeah. She has like the green, she has like eyes like a cat. Oh, no. That was like the greenest eyes ever. Yeah, I think I think I just think brown eyes are boring. Are our eyes the same colour? I feel like mine are a darker blue. That, yeah, mine are darker oh, than yours. Mine are like a swampy blue. <laughs> yeah, look at mine. They're like yours are feet. really blue. Mine are a dark blue. I think I look like a freak with your. It suits you though. Like I can't imagine you with brown eyes. But yeah, I just know your either. face so well. But you can imagine me with brown eyes. Oh my god! Did I show you a video of me with dark hair? No. Is it going to like be nudes in here? No. Do you take nudes? No. Don't lie. Why are you asking? No, I don't. I could put that on anything. Oh, f up. I'm not joking. You wouldn't be able to touch joking. me. I would. I'd mm -hmm. hire someone. I'd get Lou to fight you. <laughs> Lou would actually fight you. If Lou found out like, you were sending nudes, she would fight you. She would. We were watching something the other day about this girl that sent nudes and that it like destroyed her life. And she was like, "If Lauren ever did something like that, she did not say that. She did. Sure, she sure. was like, Lauren knows better than to do things like that. She was like, Lauren would never do something like that. She knows better than that. I was like, I'm Lou. a smart child. I feel like I've drilled it into you. Would she? I think she would. Do you think? I think she would. That's me with really blonde hair. Mm -hmm. I don't think we look at like comment below if you think we look at would you guess that we're related? No, we're not nothing. We alike. literally don't think like. It's because you're adopted. I and Michelle's adopted. Go. Me too. Right, I'll get one of these. Good morning. I'm having a bit of a stressed out moment right now. Um, I look really blue and I don't really know why. Sorry about that. But I'm trying to figure out what to wear because I haven't even said anything. We're going to London today and tomorrow I've got like an influencer event. And I stopped going to influencer events because of anxiety and shyness. And one of the things that I've been trying to do this year is say yes to things, but I've been so nervous to say yes to specifically like an influencer event because you can't bring a plus one. I've done things where you can bring a plus one this year, like when I can bring Lou with me because that makes me feel better, but anyone with social anxiety will know what it's like. 
um and i am honestly so nervous about it i could physically be sick um so a little bit of reality here for you is if you have social anxiety and you feel like this before an event you're not alone because i feel like it too i feel so nervous i feel like i could cry right now i was just literally hugging lou in the dressing room saying like i don't want to go i don't want to go like i can't do this i'm so nervous like it's not even funny but i'm struggling on what to wear because it's like an influencer event it's like a fashion influencer event and i would say that i'm not fashionable i'm stylish like i don't follow trends i just wear what i like and that's always been the case for me so when it comes to things like this i'm like oh what do i wear because everyone there's going to be like super on trend and super fashionable and i prefer to wear like classic pieces i guess so i'm a little bit nervous okay so basically i'm thinking mini skirt and a jumper because i'm comfortable in that i know i like myself in that um and it's easy and it never looks bad and then with like a blazer probably this is what i'm thinking so i've got this jumper that it might go nicely with i'm thinking that the color of this jumper is quite nice this jumper from hm that i wear all the time i'll link it below and this jumper from Everlane, which I also really, really like, but it tucks in a little bit funny to my skirt, but I could always wear it over my skirt. Has anyone else packed like 700 pairs of underwear in case you wet yourself like five times? Or is that just me? Try and untangle this and go and have a shower. And I'll see you probably on the train or in the taxi or something. Imagine if you fell in the tracks. <laughs> Do it for the vlog. <laughs> Lauren, don't, that's not even funny. Oops. Okay, so we've just checked in and I'm working with this hotel, um, which is really, really nice. It's called New Road Hotel, I'm pretty sure. Um, and the staff's really nice, everything. And it's like New York vibes. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey. Hi. We're in London. Look and like really in the back. It does. And we're on the way to Spitalfield Market. We're just about to get into Shoreditch. Why is that place at the same time? Look at the Mardino's that bad in it. Excuse me, that is Victoria. You saw the elephant? You saw the elephant? Little elephant? Oh, what's that? What? I look so much prettier than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've come to Rough Trade. If you're in London and you want to get like photo booth pictures, come to Rough Trade. It's in like the Shoreditch area, and Spitalfields Market is right around the corner, which is where we've just been, and it's like probably my favourite area of London. But we're just getting prepped to take some photo booth pictures. covering your face okay so i've just been around the hotel and got some footage of all the rooms oh i got these earrings can i take these these are cute wait i think yours is even in my pocket no i took i took the kit cookies oh. out um and now we're gonna head out i look like a floating head again um <laughs> now we're gonna head to belgravia maybe buckingham palace maybe Maybe. and Harrods as well because I really want to see if they've got we Christmas stuff Christmas in, in yeah. hopefully it's October, it's not even Halloween yet I know but I feel like we came in September for your birth when well, no, are your birthdays in October oh, yeah. hi we're in Belgravia now which is another one of my favourite areas of London this is a nice area this is. yeah this is really nice here and if you want to get content and stuff this is a really nice area as well and there's a pub here called the Thomas Cubet which is really really nice for like a sunday dinner or just dinner in general glass of wine and it's right next to the joe love store and a really famous cupcake shop that you've probably heard of called um peggy portion and also chucks is right there as well which is a really nice place to go for dinner and it's just really pretty out here yeah especially at christmas but there's no like sparkly lights or anything up at the minute but it's just gorgeous like down there with all like the white buildings and oh stuff. yeah it's so pretty here it looks nice on there it's one of the best areas I think in London and it's pretty quiet as well, it's not super touristy. So 
cute. And there's Peggy Portion. Okay, because there's a really cute florist over there as well. And then the Thomas Cubet would probably be, no, is it down there? It's super cute all around here. Look at that little Halloween-y thing. Oh yeah. So cute. That road's really cute. Which one? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And that's the Thomas Cubet. What's Thomas Cubet? It's just so pretty, isn't it? Are you going to get another bauble? Okay. embarrassing that you're the only one clapping everyone else will be embarrassed and they're not supportive we're in selfridges because lauren also doesn't know whether she wants um, a pair of dior trainers they're so pretty instead of a jacquemus bag or maybe a jacquemus bag and a dior pair of trainers because probably put those in the budget those are from the south one yeah you point those they're the ones that she's trying on I'm so tired that I would stay, but I 
So as you can tell, I'm home. Can you see Bentley's little face? He's like so glad for me to be back. Um, yeah, I got my period yesterday and just felt so rubbish that I was like, I need to go to bed. I literally fell asleep on the sofa um, really early. Like I literally just fell asleep probably like seven o'clock. I took Lauren to the train station, um, checked that she got on the train and everything and then like fell asleep. Um, I was so exhausted because obviously I didn't sleep the night before because um, I was so nervous about the event. But the event went well and I'm actually really proud of myself because I was saying to my friend yesterday like I was kind of beating myself up before I went and was like you know you need to be bubbly, you need to be loud, you need to be really chatty, um, you need to make like a really good impression and stuff like that. Um, And because I'm naturally shy and quiet, that doesn't come easily to me. So I was really stressed out about the whole thing. I was really beating myself up about like how vibrant and bubbly and loud I am when I get there. And I was like, you know what? You just need to chill. <laughs> like going to these events stress me out so badly. Like I will put a clip on screen right now, right here, of the way my hand was shaking before I went. And I didn't want to go in at all. Like I was petrified. And I just kept saying to myself, like, you've got yourself to come here even though you are so scared you are so anxious i physically felt sick like i felt like i was gonna cry i was like literally tearing up and i know this sounds stupid to anybody that doesn't suffer with anxiety like social anxiety any type of anxiety and you're not shy you're probably like what the hell that is so weird but that's just literally how it is that's some reality of what it's like um and i was so scared but i did it and i was like i need to just give myself a little bit of credit here like i have pushed myself to do something that I was petrified to do and let's just take baby steps like I'm not going to push myself to get into this event and then suddenly I'm going to be the world's most confident person once I'm in there like that is not going to be me it's never going to be me um and that's okay I don't but yeah every other girl in there was really loud really chatty really confident so yeah that's just kind of how it is I feel like a lot of influencers are like that but I'm not like that at all I'm never the loudest person in the room. I'm always the person, like, when we go for dinner, I would prefer to, like, sit in the corner far away in, like, my own little area than in the middle of the room. Like, that's just me. So, yeah. To anyone watching this that is also shy and reserved, I feel you. You're not alone. Um, I really struggle with things like that too, but I'm just in bed with my hot water bottle, lots of painkillers, a pumpkin spice latte, and I'm about to do some work because I've got so much stuff to catch up on. I'm actually stressed. I think I'm just gonna work from bed until the afternoon. Let myself have a rest because I am so, so exhausted. It's not even funny. And I'm in absolute agony from my period. I've got my little like period device on that is like a TENS machine, kind of helping, but I can still feel, feel the pain. Plus my hot water bottle, plus some very strong painkillers. So hopefully I start feeling a little bit better soon because this is not fun. But I'm just gonna do some work, some editing, catch up on some stuff that I need to do. My to-do list is the size of Mount Everest, so I better get cracking on with it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know I haven't done a vlog for a really long time, but when my sister is around me, she's a lot more confident than me. Um, and she feels comfortable to just like pick up the camera, I guess, in awkward situations. I don't know, but she just makes me feel better about vlogging, so I thought I would vlog this little, I was gonna say weekend, it's basically a weekend. She's on half term, so it was like a weekend for her. And obviously I kind of had the day off work, another half day off work apart from going to that event and stuff. Um, but yeah, I had a really lovely time. Such a nice weekend. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you feel like you enjoyed our weekend with us. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you soon with a new video. It'll probably be a haul. I want to go shopping. I've seen some really cute bits in the shop. So yeah. Bye guys. I love you so much. Mwah.